Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Ultimate Vanilla Run. Hopefully my audio problems that have been showing up in Rogue Legacy will not be showing up here. I'm not sure if it's the game or if it's something else, but why don't we get started? Um, as I promised last time, I will be going random. Samson it is. Alright, so, Samson starts with Bloody Lust. Um, and luckily we have... Let's see, now I'm gonna forget what this one is. It's been a little while since I've played Binding of Isaac, so... The Virus. Okay, so this is a slight speed down, but if I'm touched by an enemy, they will basically start taking poison damage. Um, bloody Lust item that I start with is the more enemies you kill per room, the more damage you get. So if I kill enemies, I will slowly build up damage. Uh, this can be really good versus some bosses that spawn a lot of sub things, but it also gets wiped at the start of every room. So you can see I turned a little red, actually. And that shows that it's working. So Bloody Lust isn't really going to be useful in small count rooms, which is unfortunate, but it can be really useful in some rooms. It's also a special item, which means that my chances of other special items spawning is dramatically decreased. Remember to always destroy the poop. You never know what you could find. I probably shouldn't have taken Poison Touch. Um, mostly just because Poison Touch isn't all that useful to me. If you're getting hit a lot, you're probably doing something wrong. I also start with no bombs and no keys, which is unfortunate. And starting with the one heart and one spirit heart. Okay. See, I've, I've killed enough that you, my tears have turned red. Uh, just it kind of just shows that it's working. Now one key. Hopefully I'll get a bomb so I can blow up that tinted rock. Or maybe find the secret room, since it looks like there's only one place that the secret room can be. Two... Eh, one place that the... Well, either way, I'm gonna blow this up. Hopefully I can get a spirit heart. Troll bomb! Right. So I basically strictly traded a bomb for a key. Not bad, it'll mean that even if I don't get lucky on the next floor, I can still get into two item rooms. Alright, so Monstro isn't one of those bosses that I will get an advantage from with Bloody Lust, because he doesn't really spawn anything else, although this is a champion version. I believe this one just has more health and doesn't actually do the jump into the air. I think that's his MO. All he'll do is spit stuff. Um, even if I'm really far away, he won't ever actually jump into the air. Which, good and bad. It means you don't have to worry about being slow, which I am. But it also means that you don't get some nice free hits on him. Because whenever he jumps into the air, you can usually really simply just kind of back off from where his shadow appears and just shoot at it. Not that this is all that much worse, but... Champion bosses don't necessarily mean you get better items or anything, it just means that your boss fight is harder. There's really nothing that you can do about it. Nice. And meat. Okay, so meat's good. Not only is it an HP up, it also increases your damage, it doesn't increase your tier speed, like it says it does in the bottom right. Let's see, we're on to the basement 2, which is good. Oh no, cellar 2. So, something that doesn't really get mentioned all that often in my videos, at least, is the set of Wrath of Lamb floors. Originally, it was the basement, the caves, I don't remember all of them, uh, but there's the alternates that can show up once you get the Wrath of the Lamb DLC, which include the cellar. Um, and the cellar's bad, because the cellar has spiders, uh, which are really annoying. They're generally just accepted to be harder floors. Um, not all the rooms are worse, but usually the overall difficulty or average difficulty of the rooms that you get is just harder. You're, you're more likely to take more damage. So far I'm doing okay. Mom's pad. Uh, not what I was hoping for, but it's a use item, so really not. It could be worse, could be better. But at least it's something. At this point I haven't traded away a use item, I at least have one. 
Um, basically, it just you use it, and then the enemies flee from you, uh, which is kind of fun because these leapers don't, oh, well, the spider hoppers don't hop. Unfortunately, it was really bad for me. Well, my tears got high enough. The chariot. Okay, so we haven't seen the chariot before, and that's the boss challenge room. Hmm. So we haven't seen the unicorn horn yet, uh, which isn't surprising. It is a secret room item, so your secret room has to actually spawn one. Darn it. The reason why I'm so bad against spiders is it's really hard to gauge how far they can move. You have to be really careful. Luckily, I had enough damage. Don't have any bombs. Found the boss room. I totally whiffed on the fact that that would shoot bullets at me. I'm kind of thinking about just taking some damage. So if I take some damage here, I can enter that boss room. And if I only take half a heart of damage, then... You know what? It might just be worth it. So I took a half heart of damage by walking into that and not going through the other room. Which is something that you can do. It's a little silly if you don't do it on purpose. But because I only have one heart left, I can get to this room. Now if you notice, uh, it's got the skull and crossbones on the top, which shows that it is a boss room. Which means I'm going to get... This isn't that great of an item, but I've already done it. If I die is, at this point, very likely, uh, then I die. Usually you hope for a health up in this room, or you hope that you can get yourself down to half a heart and have some spirit hearts for protection, because spirit hearts help you get into normal challenge rooms, because they can act as red hearts. So if you have three maximum red hearts, and one that's actually full, and then two spirit hearts, it treats that as three hearts, so you can enter a normal challenge room that requires you to be at full health. But they also don't count against you in boss battle rooms. So you can have one heart and then as many spirit hearts as you want. Let's see, Larry Jr. is probably the most likely to kill me because I'm really bad at predicting his movements and staying safe. Goal is to focus one of these down means the problem space of what could be running at you is reduced significantly rather than just evenly distributing damage. I don't know if Mom's Pad will work on these guys. I'm going to be inclined to say it will, but I don't really have a reason to use it right now. So he had a hidden segment, which happens now and again. But I've already killed enough that I'm getting a bonus to my damage. Yeah, he's got a secret segment too. So, by killing this, hopefully my last... Oh, that's right, there's no other boss. But I do get a heart, which is which is helpful. So I'm at a heart and a half. My chance of getting a devil room is down to 35%. Don't have any bombs, I don't have enough money to enter the shop. Um, see, my tears are back to normal again. I'm going to try the boss. So, Duke of Flies. Duke of Flies is really good for Samson because he shoots out, as you guessed it, a ton of flies, which means that my damage gets amped really fast, because killing flies is easy. And in fact, it becomes easier and easier, to the point where I am one-shotting flies, which is just great. These bigger flies will take two shots, but overall, I'm now one-shotting all his flies, which is very nice. It makes for an easy boss fight, one that doesn't actually put much risk on me. There's a really good chance I won't take red heart damage, and we'll be able to get a devil room item. I probably won't take a deal with the devil, since I'm so far behind on health, and I will be full health at the end of this. Or I'll be dead. <laughs> the one fly left. Monstro's Tooth. And it looks like I'm about to get a devil room. Um, well, I'll take this so that I have more to... See, this poop gave a penny. But I have more health to trade now for the devil room. Uh, but Monstro's Tooth uh, is granted to you, you unlock it, when you've defeated one of each base enemy uh, boss type. Hmm. I'm really tempted to take that dead cat because I'd have a chance to farm it like I did last time. I, I know that would be a little bit repetitive. Could also get the Book of Belial, which is significantly better. Or I could pass up on this and maybe get an angel rune later. Um, just, just for lack of repetitiveness, I'm going to skip that dead cat. And I don't think... 
You know what, I'm, I'm gonna do it. As, as dumb as it may be, I'm going to unlock this chest. See if I can get a bomb for that tinted rock. I can get the small rock, so... Two spirit hearts. So I traded a key for two spirit hearts. Uh, that's pretty good, in my opinion. Um, it's not as good because it was my last key, but considering that... Considering that it's an item room, on the next four that I'll be possibly missing, and the fact that I'll probably also get a key. Let's, let's cross my, let's cross one's fingers. Uh, oh boy, I hate these guys. So I know that I stopped explaining the chariot. Um, as I said, we haven't seen the unicorn horn because it's a secret item room, but it basically gives you the unicorn horn as a one-time use. And the unicorn horn makes you invincible. It gives you a unicorn horn on your forehead, which is pretty entertaining. And also, uh, so you're invincible, and you do damage when you touch them, when you, when you touch enemies. So it probably wouldn't be the worst of use items to have, because I also poison touch. I do believe it also increases your speed a little bit. Um, but I have poison touch, which will also stack on that damage. So hopefully... Hopefully. When I use this, it will be very, very helpful. These guys are in a bad setup, but I'll be able to take care of them pretty easily. They're angled shots when they've got a guy sitting over here and a guy over here. Make it difficult to actually get get into the safe area. Let's see. These guys basically shoot just like the greed heads do. Unfortunately, this fly is going to be problematic. But I do have a golden poop. Um, Oh, dang. And I saw that coming right at me, and I just could not dodge it in time. White flies are really healthy. So, Golden Poop, uh, it has a chance of spawning whenever you spawn poop, and it does one of two things. It either breaks into a bunch of coins, or it drops the counterfeit penny, which is a interesting trinket. Uh, so, it gets held in your trinket slot. And every single time you pick up a penny, you have a chance to spawn a second penny, basically. Um, it just... See, I could get this with one bomb if I had any bombs or keys. Um, but yeah, it has a chance to do that, so... You don't always, but it, it just spawns it right in, so instead of picking up a penny it being worth one, you basically pick up a penny that's worth two. Chest, come on, key. Alright, so I got a bomb. Oh, nice, a nickel. So I've even got enough money for the shop, um, so I may have misjudged using that key for two spirit hearts, but we'll see. Oh my. Um, so I kind of want to lure these guys over here. In fact, I've got an idea. Flee from me. Yes! So if you look at the, at the map, this is one of the options for the secret room. And I had a chance to not spend a bomb to open it, which is always worth doing. And it has netted me a nice 10 cents. So, free 10 cents. Don't ever say no to that. If you can manipulate enemies into doing that, it's a great thing to do. I do have a key, though. I could go to the shop, but I will go to the item room. The bean. So, the bean, um, basically is like a bad gas pill. You know what? You, you get it once per room. It's some nice poison damage if you can get it. Darn it. Your goal in this room is to not set off the big spiders, because each one is standing by a TNT barrel, which will just insta-kill it. With that many spiders, I'm surprised I didn't take damage. So, I can't get to the shop, but I did get to the item room at least. Maybe I'll get lucky, and... I don't know, something good will happen, and I'll get a key from the lost room. Ugh... I'm not a fan. So, haven't seen this boss yet. Um, he is definitely on the more annoying side. If you have flying, he is significantly easier. But he jumps, he drops... <sighs> Darn. Too close. You know what? I'm gonna use the chariot. So basically, he's taking poison damage and also contact damage. And now that I damaged him enough, one of his eyes has popped out of his head. 
and is bouncing around the room. It blocks shots and it also, you know, will, will damage you. And basically, he just adds so much to a room that you have to worry about. You have to multitask really hard, and shooting a sh shots in all eight directions, especially when you don't always have a lot of time to get out of the way, can be really tough. Wow, I thought I was going to weave around that. So I've taken red heart damage. Uh, I basically have a 0% chance of getting a devil room. But, that said, I w even if I had successfully gotten it, even though I didn't take red heart damage on the floor uh, previous to the boss fight, that 100% would have been modded by the fact that I saw one last floor. Box. Uh, this actually has a really good chance of giving me a key. In fact, I think it is guaranteed to. Judgment. Ooh, that could be really nice. Uh, so this basically gives you one of everything. Balls of steel. Nice. So that was a really good drop. Uh, it gave me enough money that I can head over to the shop. So you notice I was really small in that room? Yeah, it's not gonna happen again. Liberty Cap gives a chance... Ba basically every single room you enter you spawn with a new power of a mushroom. Uh, the different mushroom items that you can pick up. Uh, I think we did see the small mushroom. Five cents for a spirit heart, or fifteen for a ladder. Um, I'm not all that hurting for a ladder, actually. But, I think I will spawn this judgment. Actually, no. I'll, I'll save it. So, judgment card spawns a beggar. In fact, I might be a little silly. In fact, I will. So if I enter here... Nice, so this room basically pays for entering itself. Let's move this chest. But if I spawn a judgment... This judgment will spawn drops. Oh man, I would have had an angel room on this floor. But basically, when you spawn it in a special room like this, it gives you items from that pool. And I'm, I will teach more about item pools later, but by using a beggar in that room, it gives me either a devil room item or a angel room item. And it's what, what room would have been on this floor. So I actually would have had a 25% chance to spawn an angel room. But there's no way I could have known that previously, so I, I don't worry about it too much. I was actually just hoping to talk about this. So one of the items you can get, one of the things that the mushroom can do is basically give you the effect of the compass as well. So I have just gotten the compass. So you can see on the map where everything is located. Oh, these silkworms are going to be annoying. I'm not usually using my bean, mostly because it's not easy for me to get next to any of these enemies. <laughs> How much do you trust your ability to keyboard? Now, because I don't have a Q item right now, I don't mind picking this up. If I had a Q item, I would have to use it, or I'd end up dropping it back through those corridors, and I wouldn't feel like doing that. I should probably just see what this is. Bad trip. Alright, so... It's interesting to know that I have a bad trip pill. Bad trip pill will do one heart of damage to you, as though it was dealt to you uh, normally by like an enemy contacting you or something. Can't quite enter that room. So it'll take spirit hearts before it'll take red hearts. However, if you're at one heart or less, um, just in general overall health, spirit hearts included. I'm not going to get these coins. I can't. Spirit Hearts included in that damage, it will heal you to full. Um, unfortunately, if you have any Spirit Hearts, usually that means you're going to end up doing damage to yourself. Uh, I need to kill this, I need to kill this. Ah, okay. I did manage to sneak out of some guaranteed damage there, but I will use the Bean. Ah, see, the Bean was actually pretty useful right there. It does require some risky playing, but it is useful, and this was a terrible place to spawn. So normally these towers aren't vulnerable until they pop their heads up. And the more you shoot them, the longer it takes for them to pop their heads up. But due to the fact that... Come now. You know you want to shoot at me. Due to the fact that that one... Had, was Basically its skull was exposed. Darn it. 
I couldn't dodge out of the way I ran into the rock. He will take poison damage. I don't think it'll be enough to kill him, but I can hope. Hope was not enough to kill him. He's a champion too. I wonder what he's gonna drop. Hopefully he drops a key. This is just tedious trying to not take damage while doing this. I'm really tempted to just use a bomb, get it over with, but I really don't want to waste any bombs. But those shots will do one full damage to me. My shot speed's not all that great. Okay, so I've got another bad trip pill. Um, this might come in handy. Probably not. Yeah. These guys are going to rush me. Poison Touch killed them. Yeah. Should have just gotten out while I could. Well, I'll be at full health. Don't have any keys for the shop. Uh, this room won't be very hard, because uh, these guys can't possibly hit me if I play this smart and just angle my shots. I found the boss room. My chance of spawning a room is still being reduced, because I saw a double room two floors ago. And at most, it'll be 35% without the, the mod, just because I've taken red heart damage already on this floor. I've got a boss room, so I'm actually thinking about doing something silly, but also rather smart. And that's so, yeah, a little bit smaller again. But that would be basically damaging myself on those spikes until I'm down at one heart. And then entering the boss fight, or sorry, entering the boss challenge room. Which would then allow me to use the bad trip pill to get back up to full health. I've got two options for secret room. I will probably, probably look for that after the boss fight. I'll wait until after the boss fight, since this is just caves 2. I don't think I'll get a good enough drop like the box. Okay, getting a cube of meat isn't bad. Let's see if I can. I missed him. Would have been nice. I could very well take a lot of damage on this fight. I want to kill these silkworms. Not only is it safer for me, but it's also increasing my damage. I need to be really careful of how big that AOE is because it's bigger than you think. Those shots just do a lot of damage. So luckily, I'm basically able to one-shot the flies he's now spawning. All I need to do is get rid of that silkworm, and I won't have to worry about pretty much anything as long as I'm shooting right at him. Three flies out. And almost, almost, almost dead. Alright, so I actually have a few things I can do here. Um, but what I am going to do... That. Okay, good. I'm gonna damage myself with these spikes, which is risky, but it'll open that room for me. So, if you notice, I got a spirit heart up there from Scapular, because I'm down to half a heart. And actually, I'm going to be clever. So, if you remember, I said that sacrifice rooms really aren't all that useful. They really aren't, but they are guaranteed to give you a chest if you drop your health to a half a heart. Darn. That kind of ruins that plan, unfortunately, because that'll kill me. I really wish I had been able to avoid that. Let's see. So I can't... Oh, whoopsie. I went the wrong way. I'm going to look for the secret room. Maybe there's something in the secret room. Maybe. I figured this was a secret room since the other one would have been next to the boss room, which doesn't happen very often, or as often. Because then you could bomb your way out of the secret room into the boss room. It's possible I've done it, but it, if you don't know that it's the boss room, yeah, you can be in some trouble. Or if you don't look at the if you don't look at the map and realize it's the boss room, it puts you in some trouble. 
So I'm just going to actually run into the, into the boss challenge room and take this. It's even more money. If I take a heart of damage... In fact, I might elect to take a heart of damage if any of these guys spawn something. So if I take half a heart of damage, then I can get myself back to a scapular point. Which would be convenient. I really should just get hit by one of these half ones. Oh, there you go. That wasn't what I was hoping for, but it worked. Okay, so I triggered Scapular by standing where one of these guys spawned. Which was unfortunate, but it will give me a pretty good chance to do what I would like to do. Which might give me a key, and therefore access to the item room. Basically, my Poison Touch instantly killed. Sweet, we get a chest. Another bomb. I was hoping for a key. But... Now that I don't have a half a heart in my way, I can actually be a little clever here. Like I wanted to be, <laughs> but couldn't. Let's see. That's tiny mushroom again. Usually it's hard to see what the effects of the mushroom are. Darn. I was hoping there'd be a key in here. And this wasn't a sacrifice room because I'm silly. So as you can see, I got the scapular effect back after walking out of that room. I'm really sad that I'm not going to get to that, that item room. And, and it's not really a candidate for being next to the secret room, the top secret room either. And neither is the shop. Well, I'll grab these hearts, there's something. See, and that, that item there was probably Polyphemus. It's always going to be Polyphemus. Um, which, if you don't know what Polyphemus is, I'm sure one of these runs I will get it, and you will see how good of an item it is. But instead, I just got three attack flies from that, which just means that I take a shorter amount of time in this room. Which is trivial, because all I need to do is shoot at an angle. These guys can't possibly hit me. Basically, it just takes a little bit of practice. Now, I did this in a previous episode. Yeah. Basically, what I do is I just put myself on that angle. I prefer to do it from the top if I can. And then you just you pick up all your hands, hit all your fingers from the keyboard, and then all at once you hit the angle, the two that would put you in the angle that you want. So this is going to be one hell. Of a room. I'm gonna kill these nubs first. Alright, I got one of the mushrooms that lets me shoot stupid fast. So, I don't know for sure he's stuck in that door. It happens with doors that get bombed open. I'm gonna try and get him to shoot over here as an attempt to find the secret room. I, I There's a pretty low chance that it's this one. Especially because I can currently see two viable options. Both off of the room that we just came from. Yeah, he's not going to do it. I'm not going to waste that sort of time. Especially, yeah. This is a sacrifice room. I'm silly. I just mixed up which symbol it was. Yeah, that wouldn't have been the secret room. It could have been the top secret room. My, uh... Decision to use my keys early has definitely bit me. Luckily, these guys are spawning flies that I'm going to be able to one-shot pretty soon here. Yeah. So I should be able to deal with this pretty quickly. Assuming I don't get cornered. Alright. So when you kill these guys, or when you deal enough damage to them, they become bomb flies. Which you just gotta be wary of, but you can use to your advantage. Luckily those flies aren't really shooting at me. So this is just kind of 
the wave. Now, you can't actually get to any of those coins without damaging yourself, so it's not worth even going for it. You can't angle, you can't angle through holes. And if you have flying, you don't even have to worry about the spikes, so... Now, I do have the possibility of being able to bomb into the item room. And this is one half of the Headless Horseman, but we're doing good damage, so he'll be dead pretty quickly here. Balls of steel. Yes, please. So, if, in fact, the room that is now above me is the secret room, I can bomb into the item room. It is not. That would have been too convenient. It's decided it doesn't want to give me keys. So these are going to start spawning spiders here, which I'm not a fan of. But something fun to note is that these don't actually do damage. Because I have poison touch, I can just run straight into them. Okay. If I stood still, I'd probably be okay. As they shoot in that split pattern. But I feel like dodging to make my life harder. So these cobwebs on the floor are going to be a problem. Especially because of these spikes. Luckily, I got the mushroom effect that makes me faster. And now I've killed enough stuff to have red tears, which unfortunately was not enough to save me from that. But there's half a heart there, which I can actually use to heal me. Should have just dodged. I thought the AoE would be big enough. So now these guys, you can easily manipulate because they actually shoot intelligently. If you look really carefully, you can actually see that they spawn bombs before they explode. Okay, this has just turned into a bad venture. Oh man. So I haven't yet taken red heart damage on this floor. So if I can find the boss room... Of course. Yep, the second I say I haven't taken red heart damage this floor, it says, really, that's a shame, because now you have. I don't know if I could have really avoided that. Any direction that I chose to go would have been bad. Hey guys, I found a key. This mythical, magical key of which is occasionally spoken. I want to kill. See, these guys don't actually do damage. Yes, they do. I thought they didn't. Maybe it's the bomb shooters that don't. But either way. Yeah, they do. They definitely do damage. <laughs> At this point, I'm just going to hit get hit, because it gives me that half spirit heart, so I'll actually net gain health in this room. Which is silly, but it's kind of why scapular is, is a key component to breaking the game, which sooner or later I will definitely do, as I've mentioned in the past. You know, I think... Okay, I'm not using the key on that, that's a waste. So we know where the boss room is, but I'm going to go get the item room. Yeah, because that was close. I'm actually going to leave myself at half a heart, because if I take a hit from a full heart damage source, I will basically get that spirit heart right back, which will be really useful, because now I can do that clever thing that I want to do on the last floor, which is walk into here. I will take one point, one whole heart of damage from stepping on this, instantly get it back, and get a chest. Ah. Uh, the game has has used my intelligence against me. Basically, when I did that, it instantly gave me the heart and it said, hey, you don't actually have a half a heart, so we're not going to give it to you. However, I do believe I can exit the room and re-enter the room and keep doing it. So this is number one. Um, it is literally called number one, and there's a reason for it. It's because when you pick it up, gives you really fast shot speed. In fact, it maxes your shot speed. Isaac looks very happy with himself because he is no longer shooting tears. The idea is that instead he is shooting number one. That's right, he is peeing everywhere. Now, I would argue that I probably should have gone to the shop because there would have been a chance to buy a key and I've got enough money that that's not that big of an issue. But I'm just going to abuse scapular. As you can see, I'm gaining it back, but it's still counting as damage given to the room. 
which means that eventually I will get a chest, and if I'm lucky, that chest will contain a key. If I'm unlucky, it will be a golden chest, because the game has decided that my shenanigans are not <laughs> are not something it will reward. Damn it, game. <laughs> I knew it was going to do it. I hoped it wouldn't, but it did. So I am going to actually fight the boss. This is only Necropolis 1. So I'm not all that worried about dying. No, I wasn't. So I've already used my scapular for this room. I got hit and these do one full heart of damage. So the next hit that I take will in fact be full damage. You can see why scapular is very good. Unfortunately this room setup doesn't really let me set them off and then go 90 degrees around them. It will now, but... So my tears are red, which is nice. Oh, this, this is good. This is really good. This floor is really big, but he can give me an item. And not only that, but he can also give me a key. Which would be very, very nice. I have 50 cents, he's going to pay out. I actually do not want that half of heart. I will want it eventually. Battery. Okay. Battery's not really all that useful for me. Um, because I have... It, it helps charge spacebar items. And spacebar items are good to use a lot, but mine recharges every room, so having a charge isn't really that useful because you can, you can only get so many charges per room, and it is does not add up to a whole charge, so I will not be able to use this item twice in a room. I actually kind of want to get hit one more time, but not by the one that does a full heart of damage. Alright, so I've used my scapular for the room. Which I'm okay with, because it basically just means that I enter at the same point in time, or at the same point in health, from one room to the next. This is actually a very big floor. And hopefully I will not have to deal with any spiders. My range is big enough. Normally, uh, number one lowers your range a lot. My range is so good that it actually turned out to be okay. Uh, well, let's try the boss. Awesome, the Mask of Infamy. Uh, and that awesome was really sarcastic. So, Mask of Infamy is just like the bosses, that or the normal enemies, which I've run into in the past. They have the heart and the mask. Um, I mentioned there was a boss when I first ran into those that is similar. But the reason why this boss is such a pain is because he takes a lot of damage. And he doesn't actually die when his heart does. Luckily, he only did half heart of damage to me. So, it means that I'll be able to take four hits from him. But I'm pretty sure the heart... The heart, if you get close enough to it, shoots tears, just like the normal enemy does. Unfortunately, the tears that it shoots are homing tears. Alright, so this, this is the fun part. If he ever decides to head up, you can see he now has a, a crack in his mask, which means that we have to shoot him in the back of the head. Um, this is not an easy task, because his AI basically makes him turn at you, and you can see it's hard to actually do damage. You can't do damage to him from the side, it has to be from the back. Or if you get really lucky from the side, I guess it does as well. But it basically just means that this is a really long fight, and your chance of making a mistake is pretty high. Doesn't mean you're going to make a mistake once, and he smacked into me once at least. Luckily, I have not yet taken red heart damage on this boss, so I will still have a 35% chance to spawn a devil room, since I haven't spawned another one. Since the first time, my chance is not, not at all affected by having done it before. I guess I did give him poison damage. In fact, I forgot I had the bean. So hopefully this will do be some nice damage to him. As you can see, the battery just recharged the bean. 
Alright, so unfortunately... Unfortunately, I didn't actually get a benefit out of not having taken red damage in that fight. But hopefully, I can find a secret room. I'm going to now pick up all these hearts. Because I can. Because uh, I already went past a half a heart. So I might as well. Secret room is either next to the boss room or over here. Or next to the sacrifice room. Luckily, I get it on my first guess. Damn. I will take 20 cents. 21 cents. Man, I've got 66 coins and 6 bombs. The bad trip pill is nice. But I'm really more hurting from lack of keys because I have so much money I could be taking really big advantage of chops and I just can't because I don't have the keys to enter them. I just have no keys. And knowing this game's sense of annoyance, I'm gonna use him as... Yes, destroy that rock. Sweet. So I don't have to even waste a bomb to get to the chest. That means there's... And I even get the secret room. So this room has been very kind to me, and a spirit heart. Game, I don't know if you love me or hate me. Oh boy. I can either waste... You know, I'm gonna save this. So that's an eternal heart. I've talked about them before. Um, I'll, I'll keep the liberty cap. It's been really nice to me. Um, eternal hearts, as I've mentioned in the past, you basically get one half heart out of it. And if you keep that half heart, that white half heart that sits between your red hearts and your spirit hearts, you keep it until the time that you... Sure, I like tarot cards. Well, tarot card drop increase is what this does. There is no greed in the shop, though. That's good. In fact, I could greed farm. No, I can't. I don't have the D6. What am I talking about? Sorry, greed farming is an exploit that I will explain once I have the ability to do it. Which hopefully will be soon. But, anyway. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm once again doing stream of consciousness stuff, and since I can't lead links, and I don't yet want to say what I'm going to be doing to help increase knowledge about items and whatnot, I won't say anything. Oh, this is, this is bad. Quick run away from this. But yes, Eternal Hearts, if you manage to get to the next floor, with it still left, you get a, a new heart container, which is nice. But, since I'm pretty confident... Yeah, use this battery. Uh, since I'm pretty confident that I'm going to take red heart damage, I'm not going to pick it up just yet, because then it, I just lose it. Unless I find another Eternal Heart, Oh my. I'm surprised I managed to juke that. I was not able to juke that. So luckily, if I had taken the Eternal Heart, I, I would have lost it just then. The Devil. Uh, the Devil increases my damage for a room. I will leave that for now. I'm hoping for a tarot card either justice or I should have used the bean there I'm hoping for justice which basically see now I forget there's the one that spawns the beggar there's the one that spawns one of each drop one non-specific key one non-specific bomb one non-specific coin and one non-specific heart uh, because that would be the most useful for me, because I'd get a key out of it. Um, I'm going to be cheeky. I've already taken red heart damage, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'll take half heart on the way out and get my spirit heart. I will effectively be at the same amount of health. Unfortunately, going into the mom fight now isn't really all that useful. So, one thing about the mom fight, since it's, it's always at the end of this third level is that 
even if you would get a devil room, uh, you don't. Uh, the only way that you can get back to it is by using a card or something. I don't know what this is. Spe oh boy. So now I'm going to be really slow. I should always retrospect. But the only way you can get into the devil room from a mom fight. But this room again? Jeez. Kill them. Luckily they shot in the wrong direction, which is very good for me. Otherwise I would have been taking some more damage. And again with the... Mm. My kingdom for a key. Like, really, my kingdom for a key. Jeez, game. This game has officially decided that keys are something it will not let me have. I do have the option for this to be the secret room, and I'd like to find that out now. Oh, that's right, I know where the secret room is because I saw that it was greed. And I get it anyway. So many bombs. So this is greed, and I know it's greed. And um, the reason why I know it's greed is because we saw a mini map, um, a mini boss on the map, and I'm pretty sure this is where it was. And greed is the only mini boss that spawns in secret rooms. Uh, maybe he'll give me steam sale. He'll probably just drop coins. I will also drop coins. I did get hit on purpose there uh, to give me my scapular heart. There's enough stuff that one shots me right now. Or that would do... Oh, he drops a tarot card. That could be useful. Wheel of Fortune! That is very useful. This is another tarot card that I didn't even think about, but it's actually amazing. Now, the only reason I used it in here is because I didn't want to have to drop the devil card. I'm actually going to bet money that this thing drops a troll bomb and blows itself up. This is a bad trip pill. You know what, since there's nothing out there... Oh, I'm silly. I forgot about that. So, when I said bad trip pill counts both your spirit hearts and your normal red hearts, listen to me when I say that. Oh yeah, I got a pretty far. Um, because I just looked at my health bar, instantly went, oh look, I've got a half heart. I can use bad trip pill. Cannot. It will just deal you one damage because you had a spirit heart. And unfortunately, it does not trigger scapular. Now, I, I'm basically going to be gambling here for a while. Um, I might even get back up to full health but upon doing so. At this point, me gambling here could very well make or break the run, which is the only reason why I'm doing it. It does give me another tarot card, which is the High Priestess, which I should not use on myself. High Priestess is nice, but it's really... I don't know, you, you either need it or you don't. And what my plan at this point is... Oh jeez, the spikes on this level. Luckily, Bloody Lust is, is helping me quite a bit here because there's a lot of a lot of enemies. I do have an arcade. That is very useful. The arcade basically just... Well, I got a key, which I probably otherwise wouldn't have gotten. I forget if these do one or two. So, because I did a full heart of damage, I was invincible for long enough that it didn't matter. I think that'll just kill me. Um, what do I feel like gambling with? I need multiple keys, so we're gonna go to you. In fact, we're, we're just gonna do it like this. Hearts are good. Um, and hearts are good because... I can use them in the blood donation machine. And the blood donation... Son of a gun. The lovers. Why not? The lovers give you two hearts. Just like the Hierophant gives you two spirit hearts. Well, hopefully that blood donation machine will last a little while and I can actually get some hearts back. Um, I should also check out the rest of the floor and see if there is a challenge room. Bombs. In fact, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go check out the rest of the floor, see if there's a challenge room, see if there's some way that I can benefit from having max or full health. Bing. 
Levine is serving me well. Levine is actually being useful. The key. So I have two keys. Um, I'm gonna go open both the shop and this and the item room. Hopefully, I will get good items. Um, because we fought greed in the secret room, he will not show up in the shop. That is a fact. He cannot appear twice. Okay. Um, good. Basically, this will draw items towards me. Like actual pickups, not the pills or the trinkets, but actual pickups. Which means that I can sort of pull some shenanigans in these rooms that had stuff that didn't want me to pick it up. Oh, it won't pull tarot cards, damn, I forgot about that. It pulls like hearts and keys and coins, but not tarot cards because that would be useful. So I don't actually have anything good. Um, well, I've got a key. I'm gonna take the key, um, and I might as well take the bomb. Like I'm so rich right now that I really shouldn't care, but it just makes me sad that of all the items that could have shown up there, that's what showed up. So I did find a key. be useful. Um, but the place it will be most useful is over here where we got the... well there's a tarot card in the one. This has two chests. See how the coin... So I did end up getting a tarot card and a bunch of bombs. Judgment! Yeah I'm that crazy. So we will find out whether or not I have an angel room or a devil room on this floor. The same way that we found out in the past. By seeing what item he spawns. I've got so much money that there's no way he won't... Sun. Sun is good. I'll save it for next floor. There's so much money that... I have so much money that the chances of him not paying out is like zero. Pretty sure he has to pay out. It's, unless he kills himself. I should knock on wood, but unless he kills himself he'll probably pay out. Rotten meat. Um, that doesn't really tell me. Doesn't really tell me what what is on this floor. Um, don't have any keys. Do you have the sun? I'm gonna go check out this other room, just to see what everything is on the floor. I still don't know if there's something that could benefit from being manipulated now. Health manipulation here isn't really going to help me. Being full health at the start of the boss fight is going to be the most advantageous thing I've got. Ah yes, my cube of meat blocked that shot. So it's not really advantageous for me. My gambling... As I said, I, I don't like to gamble. It's, it's tiring. It, it takes a while, but it could really help the run. If I can get keys... Oh, darn it. I didn't want to use that just yet. Skatol, yeah, it would be nice to have, but I don't want it just yet. I've got 30 plays of this machine. I would really like for one of them... I, I'll... Oh, that's right. Skatol, darn it. Uh, I didn't want it just yet. I don't really need the money. I don't think I can actually get anything particularly beneficial. I don't have a teleport, so I gotta I gotta go high risk or I gotta go big or go home. Unfortunately, here um, because if you remember, I have that eternal heart sitting in that in the top secret room. In fact, it is. I forget, what is this again? Is this the devil? Yeah, it's the devil. I'm only going to get to bring one card in to the room with me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I forgot about that. I'm glad I checked that out, but because I got the, the magnetism, I actually get, get, that, uh, get that spirit heart. I don't want bad trip. I don't remember what that tarot card is, but I don't think it's any good. Can't do anything with that. But I do want 
this. I very much want this eternal heart, and luckily that spirit heart will act as some protection for this eternal heart, which is really nice and really convenient. The sun is a very good card. Um, it, it's pretty much one of the best cards. In, unless you're in a situation that you need one of the other cards, I, I would argue the sun is, is up there as the best. Basically, it does a little bit of damage to everything, it reveals the floor, and it also heals you to full. Um, so, mom time! Now, I've got a good bit of damage here, and her the fact that she spawns enemies is only going to be advantageous to me. Well, I, that's a lie. It, it could be bad for me if I actually start getting hit by them. But I'm actually going to focus on killing some of them. Mostly because it won't be hard to kill them, and that was really close. Because I'm getting a lot of damage boost, but also I'll get more damage boost. Now, there is a limit to the damage that you can gain. But I would love to have another heart. I cannot see. <laughs> Being behind the leg is not a good thing. Especially if there's a lot of enemies about. Luckily, there aren't that many enemies about. As you can see, I am just ripping through these enemies. It is fantastic the amount of damage that I am doing. Unfortunately, I am now eternal heart exposed. Uh, this leads to some issues of mom foot. I want to kill the foot. That was close. Oh, jeez, really? You don't ever see those. So, one of the, the bugs of this game that you need to be aware of is if the foot is going to be coming down... Nice! If the foot is going to be coming down, and you kill mom via her her eyes or something in the door, um, the foot will still effectively hit you even though she's dying, um, and you won't have a choice on it. You won't be able to like, dodge it afterwards. Luckily, I succeeded in not taking extra damage. Uh, Curse of Darkness. So this means that I won't get to see anything that I do. This, this, I, I'm surprised I managed to do that. But basically my map isn't going to fill itself out. And in fact using the sun card here is not to my advantage because the sun card does absolutely nothing. Curse of Darkness is... There will be darkness. No matter what you do. That speed down pill is now hurting me. I cannot get away from these. I'm barely getting away. Half heart's good. This is silly. Uh, these gray rocks... I, I've run into them before. I didn't mention them because I was flying. But these gray rocks are indestructible. This is a champion there. You dropped a coin. I don't even have to worry about going and picking that up. It just comes to me. I was not paying enough attention and got hit there. Please be something good. Uh, the chariot is good, but it's not as good as the sun. Um, the sun will be a full health for me. Unfortunately, these guys sit at the center of the room, which means that my doppelganger will be shooting at me if I shoot at it. Any shots that go at the center of the room will get mirrored across. Oh, that was bad. So everything's doing one heart of damage. I just didn't feel like going through that, that whole shoot at stuff shenanigans. Alright, we found the boss room. So, in fact, I am going to go back and get this card. Because the chariot will help me with the boss. And I can leave this boss room. Yes, 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 yes. So, unfortunately, I did just take Red Heart damage with these size. Take poison damage. <sighs> Spawning zombies. Luckily his horse will kill the zombies. Making my life easier. Oh, I've killed the horse. 
Usually I do not kill the horse first, so I get a second cube of meat. I don't have a choice about this. But I get a second cube of meat, which means that my cube of meat has gone up a level and will actually shoot little, little tears of its own. Although I guess it's probably some sort of meat vomit since it's opening its mouth. I'm just shooting a lot of tears, which is nice. I'm just gonna go to the next floor. I, I might be able to find something useful here, but Curse of Darkness is just risky. Okay, so Curse of Darkness twice. But this is good, this is good, this is good. Once again, just line it up, be really careful. Press them both at the same time. If you're off by any amount, you'll take damage. Hopefully I'll get a nice item from him here. That could be, actually that could be a diamonds, two of diamonds. Two of clubs. If I remember, clubs doubles your bombs. Yeah. I, mean, I don't need it. I don't need bombs. Compass is nice if I wasn't in Curse of Darkness. Because it does nothing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, there's no way I'm not taking damage there. Unfortunately, I'm I'm really tempted to just start... I've got so many bombs, I'm really tempted to just bomb my way out of rooms. But because I don't know where I'm going, that's not actually useful. The biggest thing I've got going for me right now is the sun. The sun will heal me to full health. These masks are just destroying me. The speed down pill just means I can't get out of the way. If I am ever in the way of one of them, I, I'll just get wrecked. Which means I have to hide behind rocks. What's this? I don't know what this is. Yep, I need to stop taking pills. This, everybody, is why you don't take pills. So the game is going to continue to taunt me with places I can use all my extra money. Yes, give me a golden key. Now, now that I have no keys and nothing that I want to unlock, give me a golden key. Hey look, it's a bad trip pill. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to use that. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It, n not to do damage to myself, mind you. Um, what pill is this? I don't know. Okay, I got another pretty fly. No, I am tempted to hurt myself to the point where I have half a heart and then use the bad trip pill to get full health and then pick up the sun card because the sun card will also have a full healing effect but it's one that's not conditional upon how much health I have so if I get nervous during the boss fight if I'm about to die and I fuck up using a bad trip pill I'll die uh, it'll be, still be bad trip and I'll kill myself or I'll wait too long because I need to make sure that I'm half health and I'll just take damage really fast or before I realize that I'm as low as I am I'll end up, you know, hurting myself I do not want that half heart, I do not want that half heart well it, it prevents me from going into scapular since I'm going to be full healing myself it's not that big of a deal but it's usually a good idea to leave oneself at half heart because scapular then triggers and since everything does a full heart of damage in the womb, there's really no advantage to having a full heart instead of a half heart. Having three and a half hearts is exactly the same as having four, and I'm actually out of money. So I'm just going to damage myself. So now if you notice, bad trip still says bad trip. However, if I do this, it actually does change to full health. So if it doesn't say full health, you'll take damage from it. It's that simple. But now I'm full health. Oh. Oh. We'll see. Alright, so I have to remember where that is. I have to remember where that is because of Curse of Darkness. Even with that tears down, I'm doing some good damage, so I'm not all that worried. I'm just annoyed by the bad luck of the pills. I thought I was doing really well with the pills that we had, and then it was just bad. Honestly, it's probably not worth the risk. It's not worth knocking myself down seven hearts to do. Because he also takes full heart of damage off of you. Since you're in the womb, everything does. 
When we say everything, we mean everything. Hey, look, I've got a golden key. Okay, game, mock me. Uh, something you'll note, hearts don't gravitate towards you if you are at full health. If you can't use them, they don't. Yeah, I got hit by that. There's an arcade here, though. Which I could have gambled with, I suppose. I mean, sure, I'll give it a shot. Oh, look, a full heart. And half hearts. So I might as well do this. So something fun. Uh, normally, you only take half heart damage from blood donation machines. In the womb, it does take a full one, but your invulnerability that you get from it lasts long enough that you can take two two plays, and it will only take a full heart from you. So you can still get the effectiveness out of a full heart that you would, but you're locked into using an actual full heart. My pretty flies and cube of meat will take care of any of the flies that spawn out of this. I don't have to worry as much. Honestly though, chances of anything actually coming of this now that I've knocked myself down to single digits of sense is pretty small. But extra bombs will make the boss fight easier. I can just drop bombs for no reason. Yeah. I'm not surprised by that, but it's worth a shot. I've already started to lose track of... I've already started to lose track of the rooms and where things are, but since I'm running into dead ends, I don't have to think this hard about it. I could kill this, but my doppelganger is getting in the way. Alright, good, I can just run you into spikes. Just for fun. It instantly recharges, so why not? Don't need that full heart. I could play the machine again. But with the chances the chance of me taking damage being as high as it is. Yeah. I'd rather not mess with it. And this gives me the ability to drop back and grab it. Didn't really even have to go that far. The one danger of grabbing the magnetism is that when it says it pulls items towards you, it means all items. If, if there's a troll bomb, like not the super troll bomb, just a normal troll bomb, one that's going to explode but isn't going to home, it, it'll be attracted to you, so it could still kill you. It could still, you know, not kill you, but it could still damage you, it could still fly into you because you have it. So you have to run away from all the troll bombs. It's not a huge downside, but it's not a fantastic thing either. Right. I hope I'm heading towards the boss room. I don't really have a way of knowing. Except I'm taking more damage than I would like to, and I'm really slow. You don't ever... Oh, game, I hate you. You know what? That's fine. I, I... Gluttony. This is one of those double gluttony rooms. Oh, boy. I was not paying attention. Well, yes, I got both of them. It's damage. Damage will be damage. It's better than no damage. I don't know which one I've done more damage to, but I'm hoping it's this one. Luckily, my... Either one of my pretty flies blocked that. Now I can take care of him pretty easily. Nice. And half hearts. This shouldn't be too challenging either, this room. I'm protected while I take care of these. I don't know, I find it funny to use the bean now. As long as I can use it safely, it actually does a good bit of damage. Run around the outside of the room. Um. Oh, this is a dead end. I don't care. You're not going to give me anything useful, and I don't have to come back through there. That's one downside of bombing your way out of rooms. Oh, I shouldn't have stayed there. If you bomb your way out of rooms, then the enemies stay there. They respawn. They, you know, do whatever you want to call it. They don't die. They disappear. Um, if you don't kill any, then obviously they just stay there but they go back to full health and 
all that. So bombing yourself out of a room, well, nice. If you don't know which direction you're going, like I don't, um, if you don't know which way is the correct direction, which luckily we found, then that actually gets to be pretty risky because you might actually end up in a worse situation because you have to go back through the room and if you don't have an excess of bombs, then, you know, what do you do? You, know, you either bomb yourself out of the other side of the room and waste another bomb or you don't have any bombs and you have to fight the room anyway. Um, and you probably took damage waiting for the bomb to explode. Now let's do this. I like to get the poison damage on mom's heart. Absolutely hate eyes. Fortunately, I didn't kill both of them. As you can see, mom's heart is taking poison damage. And I do have poison touch. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be procking. Unfortunately, my bombs didn't kill that. Alright, so we're in this phase of Mom's Heart. I'm doing really well, I've got good damage, I'm also killing more and more enemies the more she spawns, which is only good for me, although I'm pretty low right now. Bloodlust! So now I can, because I beat the game, uh, well, beat the, currently quote-unquote beat the game, because I beat Mom's Heart, um, I will be able to find Bloody Lust in the basement normally, uh, which before you play through with Samson you would not be able to do. I'm not sure what else I've unlocked. It appears as though I have unlocked the nail. That would be really nice. The nail is a pretty interesting item. Well, oh, that, that run went really well. I'm actually happy with that. Uh, let's skip the credits real fast here. Um, and let's go look at stats. Which secrets have we found? So yes, the nail has appeared in the basement. I'm going to presume that that is because we beat it with Samson. I will double check that real fast. Isaac Oopsie. Was Whoopsie. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can click through menus, which is interesting. Unfortunately, I can't skip these credits. Anyway, so uh, I guess I'll explain the nail, even though I'm not going to get it until later. Uh, the nail basically uh, turns you, uh, it gives you the black skin color uh, and horns, basically makes you into a little devil, just like uh, you saw in the final cutscene there. And it also gives you the ability to walk through rocks and gives you one spirit heart. So basically, any rock that you walk through, uh, any rock that, you, rock that you walk up to gets destroyed and spawns whatever it would if it's a tinted rock. And then, after all that, um, your damage is increased too. Like, it, it's just a really good item. It's one of those items that I would probably unconditionally take um, when I started playing early. Depends on what you're going for in a run, but it's it's usually pretty good. But it's if I'm correct, it's only available with deals from the devil. So let's look at the secrets. The nail. The nail appears to be it. But we unlocked Monstrous Tooth, which, as I said, was if you kill all possible bosses that the basement or um, cellar can give you, you get Monstrous Tooth. It's a it's a used item. It's not bad, but it's not great. Bloodlust, um, same thing that Samson starts with. Every single kill that you get uh, in a room increases your damage for that room. You have to remember that it goes away after the room. So some rooms can be made a lot easier with it, and the mom's boss fight in particular. And the nail, as I just described, is, is a pretty good uh, devil deal item. Unfortunately, didn't actually take any deals with the devil. I was hoping to get an angel room. I was hoping. But unfortunately, no. Um, since I am starting each run fresh, opening up the game, starting it over, I don't have a chance to initially get an angel room. Getting one as the first type of room isn't possible, unfortunately. That would be uh, it'd be nice. I, I might, in fact, just play another game right from here. But if I do, that will be the next episode. So I've died eight times, apparently. I don't remember dying eight times, but either way, I've got three mom kills and 60 items, which is pretty good. If I go and actually look at my collection, we've picked up quite a few. Not fantastic, but eventually these will slowly get filled in, which will be nice. 
Maybe I should do a challenge pretty soon. In fact, I probably will one of these days. Some of these are pretty interesting. But I will get to those when we actually play them. Which will be either the next time or sometime in the future. So, if you like what you saw, uh, please subscribe. Uh, like and favorite the video if you would like to. It really helps me uh, by creating some engagement with, uh, with my audience. And by doing so, you can comment and let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to know, uh, what you want me to try, all sorts of stuff. Um, and it also helps me know that my content is getting out to people who want to watch it, who are interested in it, and it gives me more more incentive to make more videos. Uh, hopefully the sound quality of this episode was, was good. I, I have no way of actually knowing that until I'm done, but hopefully it was good and I don't have to worry about all these pops and terrible sounds. So, until next time, I'll see you then.